Hi, Chris Good here, and this is the next part in how to make an electric guitar using Fusion 360 in the CNC. And this uh, part, we're, we've, we've already completed the body. We're going to move on to the neck. I do the neck in two parts. One um, is the back of the neck, and that includes the headstock, and uh, that's the part we would cut a slot in for this truss rod that appears here. And the other part is the fretboard, which is glued on top of that. Um, we're going to work on the fretboard right now, and to get to that, I've done a little bit of work offline. All I've really done is edited this sketch in our root component Telecaster tutorial, and I've copied this part of the sketch, and then created a new sketch in a new component that I'm calling fretboard. So let me activate that, hide the sketches from the root component, and reveal the uh, fretboard. I, I did make one little sketch. I just connected a line, perpendicular line, from this part to this part, perpendicular with respect to the origin of the of this whole project. So uh, you can see that I've got these closed vectors here where I can select some stuff. And I'm going to start selecting some things to do a little extrude. And I'm going to extrude this fretboard one quarter inch. That's the thickness of most fretboards. Now I know it's radius, so we need to make some adjustments there. But the maximum height of the fretboard is um, quarter inch. At least in this design, your mileage may vary. Okay, so that's the part that I want to highlight. This part down here, this little square, I'm not highlighting that because that's the slot for the nut. And this is sort of the back part that's going to end up blending into the rest of the headstock once I glue all these things together. I'm going to extrude those later on because they're going to be a different height. Now, this this part, I'm only doing the radius part. I'm going to extrude it and then create the radius for the fretboard. So let's do that. We're going to extrude 0.25 inches. And I'm going to go into the positive direction here. No, that's 0.15. I want 0.25, please. There we go. New body, great. So uh, now we've got this rectangular block, and the next step is to um, round this over on top. And there's a couple of different tutorials that you might find online. I'm doing kind of a variant on one of them. I'm going to create a new sketch that is going to be in the plane of this rectangle on the end. And I'm going to draw a circle with the diameter of twice the radius of the fretboard. So um, let's see, a lot of folks are using a um, nine and a half inch radius, so uh, the diameter would be 18, 19 inches. So I'm going to draw a 19 inch diameter circle there. That's pretty big. And then I'm just going to kind of move it out of the way. Um, there we go. Now, we're still in sketch mode, and I want to apply a constraint to this circle so that it is tangent to the center of this line. If we select tangent as one of the constraints for the sketch object and just click on the line, it's automatically going to pick the center of that line to run a tangent to. And there it goes. That's all we really need to radius this right angle over to a radius of um, nine and a half inches. Um, you can, can also do some compound radiuses, so you can actually do this to the other end with a different diameter and sort of lock between them. That gets a little complicated. Um, this uh, For this um, fretboard, it's just going to have one radius all the way down. So I'm going to finish the sketch, highlight this circle, and also get this little bit, making sure I'm not getting these triangles here. So just this part right there, and I'm going to extrude this. Um, all the way down past the end of it. It doesn't matter which. Now, it's going to default to a cut, but I don't want a cut. I want a new body that's going to be its own body by itself, and then I'm going to use the Join tool here to combine these two bodies and perform this operation. Let me show you what that looks like. The target body is going to be the fretboard, and the tool body is going to be that cylinder that I just drew. And we're going to do an operation that's called intersect. It's going to create a new body that represents the intersection of these two things. It's only going to fill in where these things overlap with each other. So when I press OK, I've got my radius part. Awesome. 
Okay, just a couple of more things to do. We're actually going to go back into this first sketch, and um, well, we're not going to edit the sketch, but we're going to do an extrude here, right? Which is going to come up, I think, about half this distance. It depends on the kind of nut that you're getting. So my default is about half this distance, so I need to measure it 0.215 inches, um, which would be 0 0.1. 075.1075, but I'm going to add a sixteenth to that. So 0.25 inches plus 0.1075 inches is 0.31. Oh, sorry. It's 0.1075 plus 0.0625 is 0.17. Uh, that's just I know that that's worked with the size nuts that I'm using in the past, so do a measure and make sure that you extrude this the right amount. That was 0.17. So I'm going to extrude 0.17 in the positive direction. That looks about right. I know this gap looks a little small here, but to be honest, um, I got like a whole bunch of nuts on sale, and uh, that's what it was. The, only, the other thing that I like to do is bring this up to the level of this, which was 0.201 something. So if I measure from here to here again, 0 0.215, I'm going to bring this part up, extrude that, 0.215. There we go. Okay, so I've got a slot for the nut to go in, I've got a radius fretboard, and I've got the tail of the fretboard that I'm going to sand down and blend into the headstock once this thing is all glued up. It's starting to look pretty good. The only thing that we need now is some lines at the appropriate depth to do a trace. Uh, that's when the bit in the manufacturer side is following a path um, that uh, is a curve in a sketch. And I want to do that to cut the fret holes. Now, some folks will actually model the width of the slot for the fret, but I have a tool that that fits on the CNC that's a fret cutting bit um, and that I got from Precise Bits and uh, it will cut that, that, that width perfectly I just need to tell it where to go and in order to do that I'm going to create a new sketch and I'm going to project the lines that we have for a fret mark for frets onto that new sketch. And it kind of doesn't matter what plane it's in, but I'm going to do it in the plane of the rest of the sketch here. So my new sketch is going to be there. And then I'm going to do something called project include, and I'm going to project to surface. Project to surface gives you these things. I'm going to project it along a vector with no projection link. All right, so these are the options that I want. I'll select the direction later, but the faces that I want to project to are the top of that radius fretboard. And the curves that I want to project onto that surface are each one of these. So I'm holding down Shift as I'm selecting each one of the frets. These are markers for where the frets are going to go. Just a few more. Now look what happens when we select the direction of the z-axis. Right, so we've selected 21 curves, 21 frets, and we're going to project direction along this blue line, and it shows you where it's going to go. All right, so now in that sketch that was in the plane here of the xy plane, I'm actually going to have things that are above the, not only above the XY plane, but are also curved. Okay, there they are. Now, um, these are the paths that that fret slot cutting bit is going to follow, but they're not at the right depth. I actually need to make them 74 thousandths deep, and so I'm going to select all of these while I'm still editing the sketch, and I'm going to do a move operation to move them along the Z axis. 74 thousandths. That's how deep it's going to go. Going to have to take a lot of passes to make this 24 thousandths diameter bit cut 
oh, three or so times its diameter. So we're just going to take it really easy. And our CNC does this quite accurately. OK, so now move along Z, along Z. We're going to go down, minus 0 0.074. OK, it's not much, but if you see now, that is going to be the depth of the tang. From the top of this to that point, that's going to be the depth of the fret tang that goes in there after we've cut our slots on the CNC. That's pretty much it for the design part of the fretboard. Um, you know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to copy this whole body. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to duplicate this um, by copying. And then pasting. And hitting OK. And now I've got two of these. One, two. Okay, the reason I'm doing that is um, I want to cut some holes in one of these bodies for the uh, fret markers. So I'm going to extrude some cylinders, move them up, and then do a cut operation uh, in one of these bodies and not the other one. I'm going to get rid of that sketch and just hide these two bodies just for a moment so I can do an extrude of these guys. We have these are quarter inch circles, and we have this plug cutter in our makerspace that cuts quarter inch plugs. And you can make them out of a contrasting hardwood if you want. You can also buy some stuff. You can buy, um, you know, mother of pearl or plastic inlays. Uh, just make sure you measure them and that they match the sketch dimensions that you're working with. So I'm going to do an extrude of these. It kind of doesn't matter how far. Um, we extrude them just a little bit like that. And these are all going to be new bodies. So these are 12 new bodies that we're going to extrude. All right. And then I'm going to select them all and move them up just a little bit, about half of the thickness of the fretboard. So that would be 0 0.1, 1, 2 or so. All right, and then I'm going to do a join operation where I'm using these to cut one of the bodies. So the target body is going to be body one. I'm going to reveal that. And the tool bodies are going to be all of these guys. All right, and we're not doing intersect. We're actually doing a cut operation so that we've got holes now in the fretboard, but not in this other body. Okay. So what we're going to do is mill these out with an eighth inch bit, and then put our plugs in, glue them up, let them sit for 30 minutes, and then we're going to do a round over pad. We're going to use a um, ball end bit to sort of clean these up. I'm going to go over those tool pass operation in the next video, and we'll see you then.